There's a misconception around Cursed Blades in One Piece that I want to address. Many have come to the conclusion that there is no such thing as Cursed Blades, or that Cursed Blades are only apparent for the weak, but that's just not true. Cursed Blades are special blades that have notable wills within them, giving them particular dispositions, and if not used in a specific way, the sword will make it difficult for the user to wield, possibly resulting in death. Highlighted in Longtown, Zoro sensed that the Sandai Kitetsu was bewitched amongst all the other swords in the shop, which means that Zoro sensed the curse, and it's not like the Sandai Kitetsu is objectively the highest quality sword in the shop. The Yubashiri that was gifted to him was higher graded, while the Sandai is just a normal graded sword. As we progressed in the story, the difference was made clear when Zoro said the Sandai Kitetsu was a problem child because it cut more than intended, which implies a subtle ability that the Kitetsu embodies, which the Yubashiri didn't have. And the Enma, which is basically a cursed sword, has the ability to forcefully exude its user's hockey. So it's not that we should disregard how blades are defined as cursed, in fact, it's through a deeper understanding of a sword's will that allowed Zoro to recognize that he is being challenged. If you fail the test, then it's a cursed sword, but if you pass, then you can wield a deceivingly frightening sword that may have hidden abilities, which makes me excited to know more about Law's cursed sword and the cursed supreme grade Shodai Kitetsu.